Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. Today is the Silent Assassin run of A Dance with the Devil, where we we do everything perfectly. It's over 47. Now I'm going to do something I haven't done before, end. is I'm going to actually buy be something. Last I'm going to buy painkillers, and I'm going to buy targets. a bulletproof vest. Varna Ketlin, so a that way, uh, circus performer. Now a big we'll have a better chance of surviving the shootout Man. with Mr. Devil Priest Man. So, uh, here we are in the beginning. Only this time, I'm going to run through here, and I'm going to avoid the, uh, the, uh, the camera. What you gotta do right now is and we want to bribe this guy. I want to give him some cash, you know, just, just to look the other way. Right? Come on, buddy, look, just look the other way. Well, how about another one, huh? Oh, 150 cents. My God, that's so much money. There you go. You know, um, as long as you're standing about where I'm standing, um, I'm no longer trespassing, and he'll just turn back around and go back to surfing porn or whatever he was doing before. And we avoided the security camera, so we don't have to worry about getting the tape from the security booth. Now, uh, out here on our left, I think, is another guard. There are two guards patrolling the uh, the garage here. Now this guy's gonna come back into this uh, stairwell here and head upstairs. And uh, we're gonna wait in here for him to pass by. All right, 47 with his asthma, and here he goes. And we're gonna listen for him to go up the stairs, and we're gonna listen for the door upstairs to open. There we go. Now we know that he's gone and he won't see us. Now I'm gonna head here to the left. And I gotta be really careful here because there's a guard down here who likes to patrol. And we wanna make sure that he doesn't see us because if he does, then, um, well, I suppose you could knock him out and hide him in a corner. I don't think anyone would see him, but it's really better off just to avoid them all together. You know, I mean, Silent Assassin is all about being efficient, so we want to avoid waiting, we want to avoid having to uh, take out innocent civilians and hide their bodies, that sort of thing. And now he's on his way back. So, we're gonna head over here, but we gotta be really careful, because there's actually a security camera on the left. They are right there. Uh, get away, I'm sick, I'm sick. And that guy's sick. I'm gonna sneak around here. And yes, there's a guard right there smoking, taking a smoke break. And uh, we want him to look the other way. After all, we could just wait, but waiting's for suckers, so <laughs> I'm gonna throw that coin. And that coin will make him start on his journey once again. And now we're gonna play a little dress up here. And now we're dressed for the party. We're dressed as a heaven guest, so let's uh, let's head to let's head to the heaven elevator. It's on our right here. Gonna have to search you, and of course, we're gonna be searched, but we have nothing to fear because we have nothing to hide. There we go. Thanks. You're all sure set. thing. Thank you very much. I'm gonna head up this elevator, and I want to take a quick look at this outfit we're wearing. Um, I don't know about you, but it doesn't really say heaven to me. It really says more uh, a very immaculate serial killer. Oh, well, but uh, well, this is this is different from any depiction of heaven I've ever seen. I think I think you'll agree with me, except for maybe Little Nicky. I guess this I guess this version of heaven is kind of like Little Nicky, if you've seen that movie. Saw it when I was 14, thought it was pretty funny back then, not so much now. And head in here, and here's our target, the CIA operative himself. And, uh, like you said, waiting's for suckers, so let's throw a coin at his feet. And, uh, huh. Well, he doesn't seem to want to be going anywhere, and these, these people are wondering what that noise was. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Come on, buddy, hurry up. Wonder what that was. What? What was that weird noise? You know, one thing I've noticed about the uh, the Las Vegas levels is that 
a lot of the men and women have those uh <laughs> that weird southern accent from the the louisiana levels or wait no new orleans levels uh whatever the the swamp levels the hillbilly levels um oh the shamal's out there you know you think a professional assassin wouldn't take a job in a place right next to the place where he just did a job but well 47's just like that he's crazy so uh god this guy's taking a while all right <clears throat> so uh he's gonna head to his next spot um he walks around a few times another serial killer and uh that's quite an outfit lady Anyway, um, right, so he walks around a few times and stops in spots. We don't want him to wait. Come on, hurry up. Alright. So, uh, he's actually heading backstage, but he's gonna loop around to the bathroom. I guess he's got a small bladder. <clears throat> and we're gonna head around. Listening to that heavenly voice. Alright. Uh, he's gonna come through there. Let's head into the bathroom and wait for him. Oh, here he comes. So, let's go in here. And, uh... Let's take out our trusty fiber wire. Take a quick look in the mirror here. Hmm. Oh, there he goes. And we're gonna be totally creepy and sneak up on him. And, just like any master assassin, God, wait until he has his dick out. Good. Better wash my hands. And, uh, ninja, ninja kill. You know, one thing I've noticed about this Anthony Martinez guy is he's kind of a nerd. I'll include it later um, in the next video, but he has a lot of funny video clips as he tries to hit on the ladies in the party. And, uh, at first I was thinking, well, how could a doofus like that, really cool outfit here, how could a doofus like that be a CIA agent? Well, when you think about it, and you look at Agent Smith, who's actually a field operative, I, um, I guess that's just the way uh, the CIA is in the 47 universe. So, uh, we're gonna run ahead. We don't want her to know we're coming, so we're gonna run in here and get that information off the briefcase. Off the laptop, that is. You know, one thing I've noticed about blood money is that there are very few objectives that involve doing things other than killing people. Um, I guess the people thought, the developers thought this was a good idea, so they, the next game they made, pretty much, uh, pretty much excluded killing people altogether. It's all about objectives. Flipping switches, getting to doors, that kind of thing. Brilliant. You know, I, I really wish every level of Blood Money had a laptop I could hit E to get stuff from. Anyway, she has her back turned, and now we're going to sneak up behind her very carefully, and we are going to slit her throat with this wire. I wonder if people get suspicious when you show up at a music shop and you buy one piano wire. You know what I mean? Because I, I, that's what a that's what a a strangling wire like that is usually made out of is a is a piano wire. You know, I wonder if Forty Seven just shows up and goes, "Hey, uh, can I get one piano wire, please?" And the guy's like, "Oh, what kind of piano do you have?" And Forty Seven's like, uh, "I don't have a piano. I just want one wire." Wonder if wonder if that's suspicious. I wonder if that gets him put on the terrorist watch list. I don't know. Who knows? Booga booga. Man, that's a scary mask. Alright, so we're heading down here, and in this outfit, in case you haven't noticed, we can go anywhere we want, pretty much. Everyone thinks we're the big boss man. Or rather, the boyfriend of the big boss lady, I guess. After all, that, that lady we have to kill is, uh, is the proprietor of this club, this establishment. Ooh, that's a creepy mask. Alright, now we're down here. And, uh... Let's see where she is. I'm gonna check the map here real quick. Okay. We don't want her to see us dressed up as a CIA agent. CIA agent. Not because she'll go insane and start attacking us like that lady did back in the Mardi Gras level. 
We don't want her to see us because she'll invite us to that private room on the left here. And then killing her without someone finding the body or hearing the, the ruckus will be very hard. So we want to avoid that. Instead, I'm going to use the pyro, uh, rig, rig the pyro show again. I'm going to kill it with fire again. I know I did that the last video, but this time we'll get to see it from a different angle. You know, a better angle. We'll get a better view of it. So, uh, let's head over here. And, uh... Alright. She's probably gonna come up now. Yeah. Alright. Head over here. Make sure she doesn't see us. Alright. So, uh... She should be going to perform once again. So... I'm gonna head over here and get a good spot where we can watch. And there's our other target. Oh, <laughs> nice Darth Maul outfit, douchebag. <laughs> oh, Star Wars prequels suck. Okay. Anyway, our other target's over there, pretending to be a bartender. We'll, we're gonna make him wait. What? What are you talking about? Do what for a living? Hey there, sexy. Um, hi. Uh. Ah, uh, Mr. F what? Cock blocker. I was trying to run some game there. Huh. Oh, Hellfire. <laughs> Hellfire, forty ounce malt liquor. No wonder that guy was sick. All right. I kind of think it's supposed to be implied that that guy had a had a poison drink ready or something. Maybe for forty seven. But accidentally gave it to that guy. I don't know. This is such a cool Where'd they hire you from? I mean, what? What kind of question is that to ask? Anyway, where did they hire you from? Like, oh, uh, I don't get it. Like the planet Earth, maybe. All right. Very impressive pyrotechnic show. In the terrorist run, I am so going to take that sword cane of hers. Such an awesome weapon. Unfortunately, it's a two-handed weapon, so you can't hide it. Who keeps saying that? Anyway. Um, unlike Hitman Absolution, where you can shove an entire shotgun in your suit. And there she goes. That pyro show was amazing. What? The shark attack at the end was so realistic. How are you what? Think she did that? Oh, God, spoilers? Oh, God, that isn't even... The shark attack hasn't even happened yet, douchebag. Oh, man, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. You know, I really try to... I really try to keep spoilers from happening, but... Well, sometimes it's out of my control, so... That's two targets down. We've really got one left. I'm sure he's waiting for us. There he is. Here we stand. Yeah, yeah. Run away. Alright, so let's take out our new toy. I wonder if it's something cool and exciting. Nope, it's just an FN2000. And, uh, I can't remember if I've actually used this weapon or not. But it actually kind of sucks. I mean, the FN2000 is very weak. Um... It is a low, low, uh, a low magazine capacity. And, uh, oh. I know in the first playthrough, I chased after him, and the tracers, the chasers go through the pillar, but it doesn't actually hit me. So, yeah. And he's dead. I know it's a lot more dramatic if you chase after him, but honestly, even with the even with the body armor and the bulletproof vest, uh, it's still pretty hard to survive if you don't cheese it. So that's what I did. And he has more health than an average NPC does. The only one in the game, I think. Wow, look at that! One hole right in the chest. That's professional. That's really professional. Very professional. Yep. Alright. That wasn't a cut, by the way. I just accidentally hit escape for some reason. I don't know why. Whatever. Um, yeah, so... 
All three targets are down. Now the only thing left to do is head up into the garage and get our suit back and head on out of here. But, uh, you know, I forgot the key. And it takes a little while for my stupid ass to realize I don't have it. So, uh, I'm gonna head back here to the body and get it. Okay. No, don't pick him up. Apparently 47 can't drag a body and hold a suitcase at the same time. That's okay. And a mow's yard back. There we go. Door is unlocked and we are ready to leave this place. Nothing like a... Nothing like a... A one or two minute jog just to reflect on what you've done. To kind of, uh... Have an early celebration to celebrate your silent assassin victory, you know? That's really the best. Like, the first time you think you're gonna get silent assassin and there's really nothing left to do. No one's suspicious at all. As, uh, suspicious at all. You're perfectly safe. Alright, so this guy will obviously see us if we change outfits. So, I'm gonna want to take my coin here and throw it behind him once again. That guy's still sick. Alright, so now he's on his patrol again. And let's get back into our outfits. Now at this point, anyone who sees us is going to run up to us and stick their hands in our face. But we really have such a short run to the exit. It doesn't matter. There we go. And there we have it. No witnesses, no covers blown. Only three dead, and those were our targets. Silent Assassin. 16 minutes. Okay. Oh boy, that's a lot of dough. Would have had more if I didn't buy that stuff. Alright, so let's take a quick look at this picture, because it's kind of fucked up. Um, it looks like a combination of a digital painting and Photoshop with some a picture of some person. And it looks like they pasted on the badge and looks really weird. His arms are really short, like some kind of malformed dwarf or something. I don't know. Um, also, I don't think it mentions that he's in the police, even though he's dressed as a police officer. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Maybe... Oh, apparently he's fluent in a dozen languages. That's pretty amazing. Oh, he's a stupid person who knew a lot of languages. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Hitman Blood Money featuring Nick Meister. I'm, uh, I'm going to leave you with that. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.